Yo guys, Speedy back here with another Pocket Planes video. Right after I released a previous video about a new plane class, an update for Pocket Planes on iOS appeared in the App Store. And under what's new, new special electric planes with no flight cost. So after updating the game, I saw that the new Navigator electric engine was available as a reward in the global event. And after opening up the Airpedia, I saw a total of three electric planes. The E-Claw C, the E-Claw P, and also the Navigator E. The one stat difference that I did notice is that it has half the range of its fuel-based counterpart. So lucky enough for me, a viewer already had the Navigator E and lent it to me to test out for this video. So a big shout out to Android Dude for letting me use this. So the first thing I did was make sure to upgrade the plane's range. But even with the range fully upgraded, you can see it can't go very far. The best feature about these electric planes though is that it doesn't cost anything to fly. So I figured the best way to use this plane in the short time that I have it is to deliver global event jobs so I can earn that Navigator E part. So I went ahead and bought Panama City and also Bogota so the Navigator E could fly round trip and deliver jobs between the two cities. Since I need over 500 jobs to get the plane part, I decided to also pull a few Class 1 planes from the hangar in order to help out. So as we watch this montage of me grinding out 500 jobs for the plane part, I just wanted to give some thoughts on this new electric plane class. Tim at Nimblebit did acknowledge that they're taking it slow with rolling out this plane class to larger planes. That's because larger electric planes with no flight costs would be very overpowered. That's why I'm hoping they implement some type of recharge period for electric planes. Electric planes could have a different recharge stat, and larger airports or upgraded airports could recharge planes at a faster rate. With that implemented, there could also be a special plane part that helps you convert a regular fuel-based plane to an electric plane. This would have to be a pretty rare part, but would be great for higher level players who already have a large fleet. This new plane class definitely has a lot of potential, and I'm glad Nibblebit is thinking through all the possibilities. So back to the task at hand, I'll admit it took a long time to grind out 500 jobs in a class 1 city. Using the electric navigator did help me save some coin in the process. To be honest, these early electric plane models aren't going to be that useful. On my wish list for this new electric plane class is definitely an electric Aero Eagle or an electric Sequoia. Those two models would be perfect for support layover planes. Either way, I think we've gotten more updates to pocket planes in the past 5 months than we have in the past 5 years. To stay updated with the latest on pocket planes, make sure to subscribe. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.